Abadango um, and I studying. Beating Abadango and I studying. As yeah. well as Tyrade beating both of those players as well. And he managed to finish at an impressive third place. Yeah, and also, like, um, when Tyroid beat Abadango, Abadango made a tweet saying he wants to go smash the splash. To get revenge, get yes. Revenge. Get Guys, back. Um, we're all friends here. This Chicago is actually just going to be insane for the next month in yes. tournaments. Oh, um, next week is Hidden Bosses 2, which you'll find on this channel and on Unrivaled Tournaments now. Week after this combo breaker. Yeah, we are now officially co-streaming. Nice. Um, the week after that is Combo Breaker. Week after that is Man Mayhem 3, 3. featuring Esam and MVD. And then the week after that is Smash and Splash, which is going to be featuring Esam. Is, um, is Zero going to uh, Smash and Splash? Zero cannot go to Combo Breaker or Smash and Splash anymore. He's still having hand issues. Oh, uh, health yeah. Issues. That, his finger is like, has like a, like a hole in it or something. Some, some terrible injury. Yeah, I don't, we don't know the details of that, but that's fine. It's his personal life. Yeah. He says he's going to CEO for sure, though. Mm-hmm. That's going to be great. Cannot wait for that. Uh, right now. Okay, well, we've got three Michigan and a Florida. Walking <laughs> to a bar. A coffee bar. That's where we're at. We're at this place called Club 88? 86? I think it's 86. Club 86 yeah. in Cincinnati, Ohio. But uh, let's talk about this team. So now the, the Luigi Kirby have to take on Diddy Kong Fox. How does the Fox change the equation here for the Luigi Kirby team? Um, I'd say landing as Luigi is harder because the good thing that Fox has against Luigi is up there. And that's like 16%. You could do, do it like three times. But um, he can still get gimped by Luigi like even easier than Ryu. Mm -hmm. But you know, K7 is a really, really solid fox, so. Oh. Oh, he's going for it. Gets it. Wow. Blue team taking first blood here. And you kind of commentators cursed it just a little bit. Just just a little bit. But let's jump back here. K7. Landing the K traps. Oh, oh my MVP. gosh! Looking <laughs> at up air. <laughs> that was crazy. Fox up air to Diddy up air. It's like pre patch. I miss pre patch. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yes and no. Yes and no. But also a lot of no. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of no. Yeah, MVD, I think he's playing the role of stock tanking, maybe. Mm -hmm. He's going to try to hold on to this stock for as long as he can. You see him recovering as high as possible, yeah, knowing how volatile his recovery is if he goes low against Kirby and Luigi. And he's also, like, you know, doing hit, hit and run. Like, because I noticed he went back to the left, left side of the stage as the other three were, like, you know, fighting. Oh, but that up smash a little Randy from k -Sev. But he uh, will keep his stock. Be to try to get that up smash off the grab. Right now, everyone's holding onto their stocks a little bit. k -Sev's kind of in a precarious position, though. Yeah, he's taking all the damage for the for the team. All this shield pressure here from Komoda. Gets a grab, almost a kill. Oh, the up smash. Taking MVD's first stock. He's sitting pretty at zero. k -Sev has to play pretty careful, but that Smashville platform is going to cost him the stock. Yeah, he's on the last stock now. Now, slight advantage here to... Oh, almost had the game. Oh, what happened to VF? I don't know. Wow. I think he made it too hard. Maybe he didn't realize his second jump was gone when it was? That's a possibility. It happens. Uh, when you're Luigi, you gotta save your jump, like, at all times. Mm. His, his air mobility is, like, the second worst in the game. He needs that second jump. And with his second jump, he can recover pretty low with an invincible upbeat. Uh, MVD coming in and interrupting those pivot up tilts that come and get so much mileage off of. Oh, <laughs> hits his own partner. Friendly fire a little bit here. And now uh, Luigi's kind of in the position case of was on last stock, where he needs to play super careful. Oh, yeah. Oh, back throw? They're taking it. Oh, DI's it correctly. Yeah, great DI there from MVD. Some brawl DI. But now trying to interrupt the uh, down air to possibilities. Oh, it's the short you can. Very clean here. But if you have still got to play careful. Yeah, it's very close right now. Anything can happen in this game. There's two people with no percent, two people with a lot of percent. Right, two people with good rage. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to come down to the wire. And right now, the blue team is trying to pincer. Uh, 
Well, MB does get out of the pincer. And now they're kind of sandwiched in the middle here. Oh, yeah. Forward air comes out. Not enough to kill. Let's see if Yev makes it back. He will. He's got his jump, and he does. Oh, up tilt. Nice up tilt. Catching the roll. Komoda, though, um, he can pull this off. He's a play very on point. Mm -hmm. yeah, a quick gimp or two, though, and he's in good shape. Oh. He's looking for the spike out of the up beam, but k making sure that doesn't land. Woo! All right, let's All right. see what... Uh, Down to the 1v1. Yeah, Komoda can do. Championship stock. Diddy Kong versus Kirby, you know, this is a matchup I can't say I've commentated too often. Yeah, I think you don't, you don't really see Kirby that often. The closest we have to a high level Kirby is Cappy. Shout out to Cappy in Chicago. Um, and I haven't really seen him play. Oh, nice oh. roar back here! Yeah. You knew you, that was. Usually I would see, like, um, down tilt fair, but mm -hmm. Jaden does that a lot. He, he, I think he knew his fair was a little staler than his yeah. back air. His back air wasn't a move that he used very often in that set. Or in that yeah. particular game? Yeah, I think he was doing fair a lot in that, uh, in that match. Using it to wall out Luigi quite a bit. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering, this is the case of he picks up his character and resets his controller using the uh, that's, that's XY start. Very command. smart. It's smart to do because like sometimes you you like go to game two, that move doesn't come out, and then you'll John about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I should probably do that more often because like I don't want to like get mad if I like didn't do like a short you or like this one like dash grab. Mm -hmm. That's the classic Kesev. Kesev is someone who always strives to have perfect playing conditions. And he's one of the reasons why <laughs> we've put in so much time upgrading our gear. Make sure that all players on the stream have like the absolute perfect experience. Don't want any stream Johns. Right. And right now they're just running right back to Smashville. Um, I think this is more of a Michigan comfort thing. Like they know they're playing against Kesev. It's going to be a tough battle no matter what stage you go to. And you saw how much time actually Kirby got out of the taxi platform. Right. Right now, oh, he's... <laughs> Komodo's going aggressive for a Gimp here on MVD. Trying to get him to use those barrels, but MVD's not biting. Right now, um... Gimp yeah, took a, a lot of damage in like a matter of like seconds. Mm -hmm. yeah, he needs to be careful. Kesev wanted jab jab up smash there. He whiffed it. He missed, he missed the spacing just a little bit. I don't think it was a factor of him. He's up smash anyway though. Ooh. Oh, nice. He did fastball fair down smash. Mm -hmm. Not Kirby wasn't at kill percent, so he couldn't have gone for something greedier. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he wanted to stay on the uh, up smash. In Kesev there, he actually ooh, ooh. goes through both of them. Both trying to give Kesev. They were both a little too slow on the trigger, and that cost them. Oh, oh wow. there's some jumping! This man shield. Yeah, you can't do that. Um, dropping shield versus Luigi actually is very poor because Luigi, Luigi and Mario actually don't do much shield damage. No, they don't. Um, because they'll, they'll more often try to press your shield by a grab instead of just throwing big shield damage on it. Because they can't get away with throwing a bunch of up smashes or forward smashes on your shield. Yeah, mo most of the time they, they would just go for the grab, especially Luigi. Because he, he thrives off of uh, grab combos. Stocks have evened up here. MVD and Komoda are pretty healthy. Once again, they seem to be stock tank roll. Viev and Kesev, they, they're just going in. Right. Both on their second stock. And they're, they're, letting, the, they're letting the injured buddies fight each other right now. <laughs> Kesev frontlining here at the wall. Oh, he held that for the first time. Oh, he should have. Maybe he should go for a force match there. Ooh, Ooh. but he killed his teammate. Oh, oh that was so clean, except. <laughs> Back door didn't. Uh, I think it came Unfortunate. Yeah. I don't know if he makes it back. Um, again, this is looking pretty even. All things considered. Komodo looking a little bit healthier. And now they're matching him up. Ooh! Up tilts. <laughs> oh my god. So much mileage. <laughs> <gasps> Shield break. Battle cleanup Diddy. It didn't even take a fully charged up smash to kill him. I thought he did down smash there. Oh, I, I could have missed it. If oh. I did, I apologize. Kill's a kill. Um, right now, the blue team has the lead. Yeah, Komoda, he um, can stay healthy for a long time, especially if he lets Viev continue to front line. And you see him playing, he's playing so well around these shields from the K7 MVD. Oh, definitely. 
Oh, okay. the up air catches. Nice up. read there. <gasps> Woo! Is, Is he dead? It? Yeah, he's no. dead. Oh, wow. Mm. MVD's upset with himself on that one. Yeah. He went a little too greedy there on the Luigi. And this could be blue team's game to lose. Yeah, we see a game three. Which is fun. This is high level doubles. Yeah, this is classic Michigan doubles. And right now, um, KSF does not want to commit to anything. You see him going for Fox Illusion. Yeah, just really non committal options. Yeah, he's doing like, like light attacks and um, fading in and out. But that was a committal option. Oh, there you go. And he, again, even, even in the 2v1, he doesn't pick Shoryu. Nah. It's weird. He, he hesitated there, like, he, he didn't know what to do, because he thought he was going to throw him, and probably, like, go for, like, a tornado afterwards. Mm-hmm. That's he, so weird. Yeah, he waited for, like, two seconds, and then just, just did a, just did a up smash. Alright, yeah, so there's, the, again, the case of the classic. Uh, how are we doing today, stream chat? I see you. Uh, sounds a bit quiet. How, yeah, how does that, let me know how everything sounds in the stream chat. I will check on it in a little bit. We turned up the game volume a little. But everything should be good. Alright, game three. Um, uh, okay. I missed the counter pick in the fracas. Zach uh, is running off and doing stuff. Three. Battlefield. Battlefield. Okay, um, this stage... I love it for Fox. Oh, it's, a it's lot. amazing for Fox, dude. Um, he's a light character already. He'll live a little longer off the top, but his kill power isn't really terribly diminished on this stage. But he, yeah, he gets the up tilt juggles really. Not up tilt, up air. Oh, but he's gonna get footstool. Oh, he's still alive though. Oh, but MVD. then MVD, he oh, went off man. to save his teammate, and he's gonna fall. Oof, that's rough. Unfortunate start here to game three, and this is the game that matters most. Yes, definitely. And now, they they got to climb out of this hole. Um, Kasev has to be the stock tank now, which is a kind of a role reversal of the yeah. last set. Oh man, just a team kill. That's unfortunate. And that might be enough. Like sometimes it just takes that one little error, then you're right back into it. Yeah, well, but there's Kasev off the side. Yeah, Komodo has a really Oh, Ooh. man. of running in with that smash. Even game. After... Uh, the first two games are pretty clean. I like them, but this seems a little bit sloppier on all on all fronts. Um, that's kind of what happens in these pressure moments sometimes. Even yes. with these high-level Brawl veteran players. And we'll see how which team can adapt and, like, really client, like seal the deal. And that's what it's going to come down to. I guess with, with, with like game threes, like they they really have to like you know be on point, and you'll get nervous because you know it's the last game. Oh yeah, for and sure. Like you know, Red Team had a bad start because FED SD had like twenty something, like twenty something or like, or like yeah. seven, yeah. But you gotta you gotta like mentally just forget it, just completely rebound. Don't let that yeah, tell you. Yeah, you just gotta shake it off. And now. This team has finally gotten the advantage. The forward smash is going to make it a two-stock lead. Yeah, they brought that back. Oh, my God. Battlefield coming in the clutch here for both these players on the red team. Yeah, plus good DI on case of Park. Ooh, nice down there. up B. Yeah, he angled that. that he was, knew that, was, that Battlefield would carry him. That was very smart. So smart. Going straight for the ledge was death. He knew that. Yeah. Monkey well, flex. Nice back air mm. by VF. Yeah. A little bit of a rowdy monkey flip there, and down smash. Gonna actually now, get the. Now they're all on on uh, well, the last stock, just like that. That down smash hitbox was extended on his partner's shield, and that's part of what helped them be caught by it. Right. Ooh. Oh, the foot. So <gasps> Ooh. Oh my! He's gonna ride the edge, but his oh, barrels go down. Man. MVD falls. Kasev has to win this two v one. It's not looking good for Kasev. That was a brilliant gimp by Komoda, though. That was Two so... Oh. Oh. He gets the Kasev! And that doesn't land. We have okay, this, this an championship game. stock. All right. Oh, <laughs> he tries to roll. <laughs> try to roll back. All Looks right. for the snow. Off stage. Kasev is down in percent. Right, Going to ride the whole ledge. Oh, he tacked it! He jumped with the tornado, though. Oh, no. Oh, man. This is so intense. All right, you going to land another jab. 
He is not far behind here. Once he, he's got Rage. Rage is so big for Fox in these last stock last hit situations. Yeah, but right now, K7 is just like getting his fourth throws to condition him a bit. Oh, yeah, he's... Oh, oh he baited him so hard. That whole oh, ledge man. scenario. He jumped off the ledge, didn't ledge Trump, jumped right back on, forced the option, caught him jumping, up smash. k with the clutch, 2v1. Yeah. Started with that fair footstool. Yeah, also VF, like, he's not looking too happy about that because what he did there, he tried to do runoff tornado, mm. but he did short hop tornado. He got a little nervous there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. His, his runoff was a little mistimed, unfortunately, but yeah. that means that in case of MVD, will move on. That was, that was, very that was a hair raiser. Was, Man, oh it is 12.15. We just turned on the stream, and we've already got insane games.